All right, so this video right here is for my Jamaican people, all right, that tune in to SoFlow TV, both worldwide and locally. Hear me, man. You see the, poli the, um, the police, you see that tourist there that got killed? Watch this. This man is 65 years old, right? I'm going to run through some things for now because I understand that it is it is shameful. I understand that it is disheartening. I understand that there are a lot of people that would prefer to spread a bag of rumors. But it only makes us look worse. Because right now, on the international front, people are saying, Yo, he was a tourist that loved Jamaica. If you go back and study all the stuff that he posted, and it's not the first time he posting stuff like this. He's been posting stuff like this for years, right? How much he's in love with Jamaica, how much Jamaica is his paradise on earth, how much he feels free and happy when he's there, how much he loves the people. He had one thing that he posted where he said, if he is lost in Jamaica, him just pick up a strange person and give them a ride to where they're going. And they'll tell, they'll give him the directions the rest of the way. Me a Jamaican and I mean, I do that a blouse and skirt. That I for sure you. The man was naive. You know what he remind me of? He remind me of this hippie chick. One white girl that I used to chill with in England, right? In the UK. And this girl so much so thought that everything was alright with the world that she bring me go to one place one time. And I was so upset because we had to run. And we had to run because it was a whole bunch of skinheads. And they started chasing us, right? So we had to run. And I asked her when we got to the apartment that we were going to, I said, why did you bring me to this part of town? And she was like, I didn't know, I didn't know. And I got to realize that some people actually really see the world like this real kumbaya hold hands and be loving to each other and these kind of things and still have faith in humanity then. A lot of people still have faith in humanity. A lot of people still trust other humans. You know what I'm saying? I don't. But obviously he's one of them that do. Jamaicans are make the thing look bad now. Because it seems like my people don't like real stories. They prefer to hear something sensationalized. When it's sensationalized, it's more interesting. Yes, yes, it yummy when want to eat up that story here. So the story that reached out our road now is that is some Batman business gone wrong. I've asked many people, but none of them have been able to reply intelligently. For instance, when since did two men walking to a room or a hotel room mean to them a Batman? This man has been coming to Jamaica and has been staying in the same type of places or the same few places from before me born. And he was never known to be in those kind of activities or anything like that, right? But when I kill the man, and because it looked bad, I don't have to also tarnish the man's name and his reputation. The man is a family man. He's married. He have him children. He have him wife. If you check his Facebook status, you know upon Facebook where it says, um, if you are single or married or whatever, in his own input, complicated. Now you could see the midlife crisis thing probably kick in. The man is 65. He might go through some things with his wife. These things are normally happen. And he runs to his safe haven. Retired, you know, you have a pension that coming in now, but you don't have anything to do on a daily, so you're going to take some of your savings, go down to Jamaica, which is your paradise on earth, smoke some good ganja, and he wrote that also on Facebook, that he can't leave, he's missing home, but he can't leave Jamaica until he smoke up his portion of the good ganja. He wrote that. And his status says, for relationship, it says complicated. What I've known by going through his Facebook profile is he was intrigued by black women, Jamaican women. 
And it seems like he was going on a date with one of them. He called it dating. Because dating means you pick one of them up. You know, she got asked for something. And he is giving something in return. So it's an exchange of something for something. A prostitution, we call it here, sir. So maybe him be in love with the Jamaican hoes. The one them that were willing to prostitute themselves to tourist white men. Because there are a lot of those in Jamaica as well. Yeah? The thing I don't like though. Is how we are twisting the story now. Is Batman business. Then Mrs. Somebody else even come back and said stuff like. He was seen. By all the employees in the hotel. Going to his room. With a man. That was dressed very effeminate. The man was. Uh, somebody said he was seen going to his hotel room with. Something that was dressed like a woman. But people said that the woman looked too tough. Like is a man dressed like a woman. So what they're trying to put out there is. And these are Jamaicans doing this. What they're trying to put out there is. Is a transsexual. The man pick up on a Caraguayam hotel room. Oh no wicked. Because. The police report, according to all of them that live, I mean, that work there, the police report says that they saw him in the company of a Jamaican man. And it didn't say all of the employees saw anything. Is one employee gave an account. Everybody else said them not say nothing. They know who he is. They're very familiar with him. I suppose he's an extended guest there, so he will probably come talk to them. Hey, yo, know, everybody doing? Yeah, get my cup of coffee and all these things in the morning. Go out and catch the sunrise. All these things he posted on Facebook. Right? And I'm sure who work there at the front desk and security know say, him pick up girls and carry them go in and say, I date them, I go date. And these things. I don't know what date mean already. She had exchanged pum pum for some money. I don't think this was no homosexual nothing. And I find it sad that people would have fling that out there as if it's facts. Now, if they were saying that's rumors, I would say, boy, I, that's one of the rumors out there. Because we can't control the rumors. But people are spreading it and they're trying, don't use my platform to spread anything and tell people about this facts. Because when I see that comment, I'm going to erase it. Unless it's facts. Come in a one, nobody. This is what happens. It always come back to this. Where you get that information from? Because it's false. And then somebody say, No man, I saw Flow TV. They won't say it in my comment section. Then we say, I punch so Flow TV, me get it. And the next person they speak to will say, So Flow TV said. So Flow said. So no, don't mix me. Let me turn up the light a little bit on this camera. No, don't mix me one. I don't think that's what happened in that case. Let me tell you what I think happened in that case. You see in Jamaica, you have some people. Remember, I know. Let this stick in your mind. This man is 65. He's been coming to Jamaica since he was 18 years old. He's been doing extended stay. People say, how come him have him wife a foreign and picnic? And him left them and come a Jamaica for extended stay. I bought him in a, he liked the Jamaican men, bottom. People, people live different lives. If you know about these white people, right? I've been around them my whole life and I can tell you this. They take girls trip, the, the, the wife go off with her girls, the husband goes off with his friends, men. And they have man time and girl time, woman time, girls time. That's just how they live. I feel them think that. It's not like us who we tell our wives, so, y'all go away without me? No. That they live differently. You understand? So, he's going to his place. Him and his wife probably have got through things given what it says on the Facebook post. It's complicated. And the man just retire and him want breeze out. His wife said they threw him a retirement party 
right before he left for Jamaica. He had just came back from Jamaica before he got retired. And he said as soon as he is retired, the first thing he wants to do is head back to Jamaica to celebrate that retirement. Soak up some good sun and some good air and some good ganja and say, yes, I made it to retirement. What's wrong with that? Some people see people together for 30, 40, 50 years and they wish to have that kind of relationship. But they don't understand that there were separation moments. There were times when you had to go your separate way. I'm mean, not talking about breakup. I'm talking about, look, I'm going to go spend some time over at my mom's house. Or you go and go spend some time with your relative, them up so or down so. Because absent makes the heart grow fonder and all these other things. And it seemed like we just nyang, nyang, nyang at each other. You know what I'm saying? We don't know what's going on in this man's personal life. We just hate the whole Batman thing that they put this thing in. Her. When, if you follow comments and you follow his thing, you will on Facebook you will see that it all had to do with, his thing was Jamaican women. But here's the thing. Kill the man. Tarnish his reputation. It only makes us look worse. You see what I'm saying? It only makes us look worse. What I think happened is this. You have some people in Jamaica. I say, and given that he's been coming there for years. And he's been staying in the same spots for years. I can't imagine anything else. But he has developed real friendship relationship. With quite a few people there. People who he thought that he could trust. You know what I'm saying? So, you have some people like this. And I've seen it among our own people. Vibes can't tell even make song about it. Me give you today. Me give you tomorrow. Me know I have nothing for you the next day. You call me pussy wall. You say me for dead. You call me body man. You call me all kind of things. That is how a lot of them are. Yo, um, give me a thing now. And him staying there extendedly, somebody probably feel like, say, yo, a 90 US dollar, 100 US dollar a night to stay there, so you know. My boy did there uh, two weeks now. Do the maths. He have money. 100 US dollar a night times two. A 1400 US dollar that. Do that in Jamaican maths for money. And him just uh, spend that just to stay there, so. Plus him can buy him food and him ganja and spend money upon girls and so people start preying your pocket differently. So they start begging harder. And a lot of times it's people that you know. Boy, I'm begging a thing now. Boy, I mean I have much enough, but here, me I give you a little thing. Then come back again. Boy, I mean I have something you can give me. Let off something now. That beggy, 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 he befriended somebody that was beggy, 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 beggy. And he got set up. I've seen people put out comments that somebody in that hotel knows something. The employees at that hotel know something. Somebody that is employed at that hotel knows something. And I have to agree. I have to agree. Now, like I'm saying, the beggy, beggy thing. Then beg you Monday, you give them Monday. They beg you Tuesday, you give them Tuesday. Then beg you Wednesday, you give them Wednesday. Then beg you Thursday, you give them Thursday. Friday come, then beg you. You say, boy, I don't have much in my uncle. I like a thing here where, boy, Jano. I have to hold on upon this. I have nothing to give to the brethren. Maybe next time. That same person who you gave Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and couldn't give them on Friday. That same person that this is a common thing in Jamaica. May I tell you, the same person will look upon your Friday and bend up them face. And then go behind your back and start telling people about you. Things that aren't true. And we even set you up forget get robbed. It could be one of the girls that he brought in there that go back and tell a boy out the door and say, Yo, I'm going there and I'm missing laptop, missing money put down in a US dollars. Probably I'll over exaggerate how much it was. Missing this, missing that in there. Can go in there and get him on. You know what I'm saying? It could be somebody who he really trusts, but they're on drugs. Cause you know people pan drugs do all kind of something. 
and let's not get it twisted. Every kind of drugs in a Jamaica. So you, see, you ever see a crackhead when a crackhead want them fix? If they come to you, I watched a, I watched a documentary recently where they're interviewing murderers. And this one murderer kill him grandmother. The man going to the house and he's saying now, he's on death row now. And he's explaining, I saw crack do them enough. That's how crack and coke do you. It's a hell of a, or heroin, these kind of drugs. It's a hell of a addiction that will make you kill. The man got to prison before. Stab up his father. Oh no, stab up. Shoot up his father. Did about 10 years in prison. He'd come out of prison. Didn't have nowhere to live because nobody in his family would accept him. His father survived the shooting. Testified in court against him. He got 10 years. After the 10 years, his family said, nobody don't want to give him nowhere to live, right? His grandmother opened her door and says her grandson, she had taken me in. This is the mother of the man, him father, who him shoot up, you know. And this is the same lady he went and he said his grandmother had a bat, like a little baseball bat. This is how she felt like she would protect herself. You know, the man said he remember asking her for money because he was on one of those binges. And him asked him granny for money and him granny said she didn't have any this time. But she always gave him. This is him recanting the story now that he's on death row. And he says, you know, I, he regretted so much because this is the only person that was kind to him. The only person in the family that took him in, gave him some place to live. The only, straight out of prison, the only person that would give him money. She would give him everything. Because she, she, she just didn't have it. But he was so in need and going through those withdrawals. He said he don't know what. She walked to her her back her room, which is in the back of the house, and he said, all of a sudden, something overcame him, and he just followed her to the back, and he just started beating her, and beating her, beat her over the head. She fell to the ground, and he just started hitting and hitting her, and beating her, and beating her. This ain't Grandma Diana. So I'm thinking, it's something along these lines. This man friends some people and don't know their deep, dark secrets, maybe. Maybe him thinks say, yeah, man, I'm somebody who can bring girls to me, introduce me to new girls, because that's my thing. Plus, we give my little money every now and then, and we can smoke weed, because me always have my herb. You know what I'm saying? My money long in Jamaica. Um, smoke weed and all them something there with him, and next thing him find out, say, is a crackhead. And the man stab him up in there. Because he asked for something today and didn't get it. Anyhow, I'm going to leave the story right here. Leave your comments in the comment section below and I will continue this discussion in the comment section below. Alright? I'm out. Peace.